Good morning. You guys want to see how cold it is currently in uh, Alberta, Canada? Because it's a bit cold. Negative 46 outside. That's the inside of my window. Look at that. Oof. <laughs> So it's very early in the morning. I gotta get the kids up ready for school. It's negative 40 or something outside right now. Uh, we don't have a car to drive, so they're gonna have to walk on, but it's only two blocks. But I did a poll yesterday on uh, YouTube asking if you guys wanted to follow on the weight log journey. And we got a pretty good amount of people, actually 80% that wanted to follow on the weight loss journey. So let's get the kids off to school and then we'll, uh, We'll start. I want to share my story first and why it's such a problem. Well, it's very cold in Alberta. It's so cold that we got a warning telling us that we had to turn off all of our lights, heaters, as well as do not use a microwave to cook, all because the grid can apparently ha not handle the cold weather. Meanwhile, we had this level of cold weather, negative 36 to negative 40 for like three weeks last year. Grid just did just fine, but uh, this year they shut it off. And the problem with a house like mine is I actually have three floors, but because I live in a bi-level, I have half a floor. So this would be main floor one. Then you walk, and you have the living room down here. But the problem is from there, don't mind that stain, my brother spilled some coffee. From down here to up there is like 20 something feet. And I have to heat that room with that fireplace, but we had to turn that off. So this whole area was frozen. You can see it on the windows up there these these whole windows turned into a sheet of ice because the grid couldn't handle it then you go down the stairs and you end up in the basement it is just wild to me we don't get into politics very much on this channel but it is wild to me that they are trying to make it so in, in canada it will now be illegal by the year 2035 to buy and purchase combustion engines and uh yet they want everybody to switch over to electric cars but our grid literally <laughs> can't handle a cold snap without shutting down. Oh, wait, no. Alberta has the only floating regulations for the prices, and they just happen to turn off over 10 oil refineries, which make the, you know, the shit work. And uh, the price of the uh, wattage went through the roof, and the grid couldn't handle it. It's almost like it was a plan, but hey, I'm not only your COD conspiracy theorist, I'm also your regular conspiracy theorist. It's enough about politics. We're here for a different reason. We're here because... Uh, I asked you guys if you guys would like to follow along on a weight loss journey. You guys actually surprisingly said yeah. So I want to share a little story on why weight is such a big issue for me. Because it is a big issue for me. But first, I got to give you guys your daily Call of Duty video. So we got to get that done. You guys are going to be uh, getting a time lapse. Uh, we're going to be using the, uh, the beer stand because I don't have a tripod that has a camera holder. So... Uh, Enjoy the uh, the beer tripod. So now that we uh, are loaded in because I turned off my PC to, you know, I don't know, be able to heat my house so my kids didn't die, um, so I didn't get any work done, we're going to be talking about skill-based matchmaking, the conversation that Activision said they'd have with us that they haven't had. Turns out not everybody's as transparent as I am when it comes to things, and it turns out big corporations that make millions of dollars could really care less. So I got to come up with the script out of the top of my head. I don't like writing down my scripts. I feel it doesn't give a natural feeling. It just feels like I'm reading to you. So I think about the script in my head. I make the script kind of the way I want to go. And then I just do it. And then if I have to reset, which normally I don't, it's usually a one tank take and we're good. Um, then we're good. But sometimes I'll stumble over my words because I do suffer from a fat tongue and I'm a bit tongue tied. So I end up sometimes saying like uh, I'll stutter or whatever, or I'll come up with like, I. A, it'll sound like I'm slurring my words because my tongue's stupid and fat. But uh, so we got to get that done. We're talking about SBMM. I might make 
tomorrow's video as well. During the week, we're going to go down to one video a day for Call of Duty, just simply because the views aren't there right now um, for Call of Duty content. It's just simply not. So I'm doing two videos a day that is just strictly Call of Duty. Um, I would run out of ideas real quick. So this way it also allows me to get more out, but then I can come at you guys from different angles like live streaming and stuff like that. So let's get this video made. I think the funnest part of making videos isn't so much the playing and making of the gameplays. It's actually using your brain to come up with creative ways to say something that everybody else says. For instance, with the skill-based matchmaking conversation, everybody's done it. Everybody's done it to death. So how do you make it interesting? Well, you got to use your personality. You got to use your voice. You got to use the way that you talk, how you go about saying things in order to do that. And it's either going to resonate with an audience or it's not. It's kind of like a gambling. Will this video, the script here, do good or not? You don't know. You just have to put your best foot forward, do your best, and see where it ends up. I've had videos where I spent tons and tons and tons of time working on it for it to get almost no, no views. And then I have videos where I spend it, like no time and they blow the fuck up. So I don't know. That's just the most interesting part. So then you got to put it all together, which is probably the hardest part of all this is you got to put it together and you've got to somehow make it interesting. Sometimes I give you guys uh, no, very little edits. So then I can work heavier on another video for edits. This video will be about a lower end edits. There's not really much to do when it comes to skill-based matchmaking, but it doesn't take any less time. It still takes me, it just took me 36 minutes to get the audio film to make sure it's all good to go. Now I got to go put it in and I got to edit it, put it all together, sequence it. There's a lot that goes into making a video behind the scenes. And I need to take this kind of dedication and this kind of excitement and I need to transfer it into trying to lose weight. And that's where I'm going to struggle because I, I get hyper focused on things and I get hyper into just doing one thing like the videos. And then for the rest of it, that's, I, I can't think about it. I, I just do this. So let's get this done so we can move on. they never tell you about making YouTube videos like no youtuber ever talks about this it's hearing your own voice and having to edit the video and just hearing yourself recycle 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 and you have to like edit it down while listening to your own video it's it's crazy Honestly, didn't think that there was signs in the world, but uh, during that time lapse, I don't know if it's gonna capture it. But my uh, my fat ass broke the fucking chair. It's now stuck like this. The gas shock just let out. There can't possibly be that much of a sign that this heavy duty ass industrial fucking gas shock just busted. I can't fix it. It's just stuck like this. I don't even know what that lever does. In the video, the vlog where we're going to talk about weight loss is the exact day. I knew this chair was going to go. Oh my god. I just didn't think it was going to be today. <laughs> well, I guess that means I got to lose some weight. Okay, quick update. <laughs> I uh, got it to unstick, but it no longer... Uh, is a like sturdy chair it is now a, a, a forever reclining chair <laughs> it is uh i broke the bolt 
I, I'm not a guy that, like, I believe everything happens for a reason, but I didn't think during the video, the vlog that we're working on right now, <laughs> talking about my mental health with weight loss and all that shit, I did not think <laughs> we were going to bust the chair. This chair, man, I've had it for, like, eight years now, and uh, this chair actually was supposed to replace it, but I got so fat that th the lip that goes up was hurting my ass. This whole ass chair couldn't hold my ass. But I did accidentally order the small version. That's why it's my wife. So it probably wouldn't have been comfortable anyway. But it's still sad that I can't sit in any chair. And now I broke my chair. Well, well, seems how you guys are here. Might as well give you an update here. I got to do the final watch through. Make sure there's no edits I missed or something I want to add. Then it's export. And then we're going to have a, a conversation. You and me on mental health and fitness and all that stuff because uh i want to talk to you guys i'm a real person damn it all right so we got it uploading now well it's exporting but i want to give an update on chairgate i got it to lock in place by shoving the broken bolt back into where it needs to be but we're uh we're down a chair okay <laughs> we have successfully gotten so fat that the chair is busted so it's old, it's ratty. So if there's any gaming chair people out there and you just feel like sending a random fat guy in Canada a chair, um, I'd be down because uh, my ass too fat for that one. And that one's now broken because of my jiggly parts. All right, so we have to start off this conversation with a weigh-in. Because there ain't no point in doing a weight loss journey if we don't know what the weight started as. So it's very important that we keep the weight we're at the same spot. So this is where we're going to be. Right in line with the treadmill. Right in the corner of the couch. That's where we do our weigh-ins. Now, I ain't going to go in the bathroom, get stripped down naked to weigh myself. I have had one cup of coffee this morning. I'm wearing a sweater, a pair of pants that are very, very light, and my slippers. So I'm, as, uh, I'm naked under my clothes. So let's get this weigh-in done. Dun, 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 dun. Oh my god. 290 on the dot? No wonder my fucking chair broke. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost two plane seats wide, man. Oh my god. Well, at least uh, we now know that I am, in fact, a hefty boy. I've actually been noticing some changes over the last few, I would say couple weeks, um, in my body. And that was just that things started to get a little bit more jiggly. I started noticing that the door on the truck seemed a lot closer than it used to be on the Jeep. And I also found that I was starting to get uncomfortable sitting on places I'd used to sit all the time. Like my hips would start hurting and stuff like that because of it. Now, I do have hip surgeries. I have had two on the right hip and one on the left hip. I'm held together with rods and pins, which we covered in another video. But I've never had it where... I've been incredibly uncomfortable no matter what I do. I can't sit, I can't stand, I can't do anything. And the real reason for that is because, well, as we just found out, I'm almost 300 goddamn pounds. I am sitting here just about almost 300 pounds. And it's time for that to change. And that's what we're going to be talking about is the plans for this. I actually didn't expect the positive feedback that you guys gave me when it came to doing this weight loss journey. I am so used to negative feedback and negative pushback when it comes to my weight. I was shocked to receive positive feedback. Now, my weight has always been a problem. When I was younger, I was extremely skinny and people called me things like Q-tip and stuff like that, which didn't bother me at the time, but the, it did bother me that I was so skinny. When all my other friends were bulking up and they were starting to get their big kid body or whatever, and they were starting to get girls attracted to them because they, they were muscular. I was just a skeleton, and no matter how much I ate, I could eat as much as I wanted. I could not gain any weight whatsoever. And then I, when I joined basic training, I went into basic training, I'd say 140, and I finished basic training at 145. When everybody else in the platoon had gained muscle mass, I had only gained five pounds. So I was looking the exact same. And my uncle always told me for years, one day you're going to wake up and you're going to be fat. One day you're going to wake up, you're going to balloon. And I didn't think about it. I was just so conscious and trying to gain weight that I just started doing whatever I wanted. And then once my injuries set in, which we covered in another vlog, I started to drink a lot. And drinking leads to you 
gaining weight, but then also with drinking, what ends up happening is your body's trying to eat and get rid of the alcohol that anything you put into your body after your body's full and trying to burn the beer and or alcohol fuel, it just stores as fat. So then when you get drunk, what do you do? You go order some pizza, you go get some McDonald's and you eat way more than you should. And all that just gets transferred into fat. And then what ended up happening is I gained a shit ton of weight. I came back, I went, I left for my QL5s and I was at 200 pounds, which I was okay with. I was not like super shredded, but I looked okay. I'm six foot two, right? I'm a bigger guy. And uh, so I looked okay, but I came back from basic 265. Then I got, or not basic, QL5s. I came back from QL5s at 265. For you guys that don't know, that's just getting your full qualifications in the military. And then you move on to other courses. Anyway, so I came back from my QL5s, 265, and then I got hurt, and I had to get the surgery, so then I sat around, and I sat at 280 for years, right, but I was always upper body strong from walking on crutches and using a cane and all that kind of stuff. For two years, I did that. So up here, I was always fine, and it was just like my legs were baby legs. They didn't really work, and now, over the last few weeks, I've noticed changes in my body, like I've noticed that I got like jiggly titties now like I could probably put on a solid b cup here maybe you know I don't even know how cups work I just I could put a bra on it would give me stability I noticed that a lot of my shirts aren't fitting anymore because my gut for some reason just got really big it's only a difference in five pounds to 290 but it's the way that the fat is sitting on my body and I've had enough right doing this this right here right doing videos you spend your day sitting here that video took me three hours to edit right so we sit here for three hours then normally i'd be starting a live stream our internet's too crap today to do that because of the storm but we'd be doing a live stream that's another four hours of sitting here just drinking coffee then it's time to cook dinner i haven't moved i haven't activated my body i haven't done shit and so i go eat dinner and then what is it it's a homework time and it's then family time what do we do we watch a movie we watch tv together I live a very sedentary life. I don't really move that much. And it's really starting to affect me mentally as well as physically. When you can't walk up the stairs because you get out of breath, it's time to lose some weight there, fatty. I will never forget this comment. I went, me and my wife joined the military. I joined the military. We lived in Ontario. And then we moved to Edmonton. And then we went home for a Christmas vacation. And when you're gaining weight slowly, you kind of notice it, but you don't notice it. But when we got to my wife's parents' house, her brother walked up to me and goes, what's up, bu br brother fat, like boba fat, except for it was brother fat. And it is just stuck with me and it's bothered me and it drives me nuts. I don't eat unhealthy. I know what the issue is. It's I have to become active. I'm very excited for this channel as well as the vlog series because it's going to push me to be more active. Like this Friday, I have a... A special Q&A vlog plan where we're going to go and do things. Uh, I can't say it in the video, otherwise my kids will know. But I'm going to go do some stuff. But then over the next spring coming up and into the summer and then fall, we are going to go camping. We're going to do so much shit. I have a whole ass bike. I got the dirt bike. But I bought these bikes brand new. You know where they sat? Right there. Never been ridden. Never done anything. That's where they sit. This home gym normally is used, but uh, it's negative 40 outside. And I took the arms off to get it through that door because we had to move my daughter into a different room so she could have her own space. But normally this is all the home gym, but we're parking the Jeep in here right now. It's time for the excuses to stop. And so we're going to start a weight loss journey. We're going to start with a diet. Then we're going to start with working out. And I think we're going to start off easy because I don't want to scare myself off. So five miles a day. Let's never pretend like I didn't miss my hand there, okay? Five miles a day for one week, and we'll check in in one week, see if we lost any weight. Plus, we're going to be starting a carnivore diet. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Eating meat. I already love meat, so <laughs> may as well eat more, you know what I'm saying? So, carnivore diet and meat. That's going to be week one. We're going to start off simple. We're going to grow together. I'm going to see how this works out. See what I mean about being out of breath? All we did was walk up the stairs. It's time. it's time, man! I'm too fat for this shit, man! <laughs> uh, no, but in all seriousness, my dad's heart exploded at 47 because he didn't take care of his body. I am 32 going on 33 this year. I would like to have more years than 47 years on this earth. 
I would like to see my kids graduate. I would like to see my kids get married, have kids. I'd like to be a grandparent. I'd like to do some stupid shit and not constantly say that my hips hurt. And I want to take you guys on that journey. I want to show you guys we can have fun as a family. But as long as I'm fat and lazy, it ain't gonna happen. So today, I'm dedicating myself five miles on that treadmill right there. And I'm gonna post a picture in the Discord of the proof of the five miles. If you guys would like more vlogs, right now I'm gonna sit around one a week just so we can uh, make sure that we don't oversaturate the channel with vlogs. We are a Call of Duty channel first. That's what you guys follow for. Everything else is second. So, one vlog a week of the fitness updates, weigh-ins every Monday, five miles, carnivore diet. Let's get it done. I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. By the way, still looking for a gaming chair there. Sponsors. You want to sponsor a fat guy at gaming? My chair broke. I don't really want to go buy a new one, so hit me up. Bye.